This boat will outperform even some of the highest end boats costing over three to four hundred thousand dollars. You can get this boat dialed and nicely equipped for take a closer look at the new Centurion FE22. What's up guys? This is Mitch from BoardCo and today I'm going to be giving you a walkthrough of the new Centurion FE22. This boat is one that we are really excited about because it delivers unparalleled performance with an incredible value proposition. So let's dive in and take a little bit closer look at what makes this boat special. The first thing I wanted to talk about when it comes to the FE22 is really just about the boat itself, why it exists and why it is such a cool boat that we are pretty excited about here at BoardCo. When we're talking about the FE22, it sounds like, because and it's inspired by the FI series from Centurion. So what is the difference between the FE and the FI? Well, the FI series boat comes in a 23 and a 25 foot model. The new FE comes in at a 22 foot model boat. So it's a little bit smaller. They've also reduced a few of the items that are in the boat or brought them down a little bit to bring a better value for you and your family. So if you want to be able to get a Centurion with all of the different great features, all of the essentials, all of the top notch quality, and most importantly, the incredible performance, but you didn't necessarily want to pay a premium for some of the different features that may not be as important to you, the FE22 may be the perfect boat that's right for you. First off, let's talk about what is similar between the FI series and the FE series. The most important thing that is similar is the hull design. The FE22 features the Opta V 2.0 hull. This is the same hull that has been made famous by the Centurion RI245, and it carries through in the new Centurion FI series, as well as the new FE22. The FE22 shares the exact same running surface as the FI23, it's just in a, in a little bit smaller package. The exterior body lines are effectively the same, just shrunk down slightly, and the layout and interior of the boat is is very similar as well, just a little bit smaller. It also is going to feature the same type of performance, the both wake surf and wakeboard performance that the FI23 is renowned for. It's going to deliver world-class surf waves and fantastic wakeboard wakes, along with a pretty solid recreational ski wake that's available on this boat. In addition to the incredible wake performance on the FE22, the FE22's Opti V 2.0 hull is also going to deliver world-class rough water ride. Even though this boat comes in at 22 feet and is less than half the price of some other ultra premium models, this boat will outperform in rough and bad water conditions, even some of the highest end boats costing over three to four hundred thousand dollars. That is thanks to the Opti V2 hull that is going to slice through rough water conditions. One of the biggest concerns that people have with a smaller boat, such as a 21 or a 22 footer, is how it's going to take rough water chop. This boat will be able to handle four foot waves, no problem at all, thanks to that Opti V2.0 hull. One of the other great benefits of the Opti V hull on the FE22 is its incredible fuel efficiency. If you paid attention to a lot of the other content that we've made, you will have noticed that we talk about fuel efficiency a fair bit. And that is because the combination of the Opti V hull, the quick surf surf system, the silent singer plate, and the ballast configuration that's available in Centurions, not only is gonna deliver the best wake surf performance out there, but is going to do it while burning 50% less fuel than comparable boats. The FE22 is no exception. You can expect not only world-class waves, but an absolutely incredible fuel efficiency while the boat is creating them. Now let's jump inside the FE22 and take a closer look at why this boat is such an incredible value. One of the most exciting things about the FE22 is the size of this 22 foot boat. As you see, I'm here in the interior and I can sit back here in the back corner, stretch my legs out, and I can have somebody that sits over in the observer seat that can face this direction and do the exact same. This boat is big. In fact, it's bigger than most other 23 foot boats that are in the market. The bow is super spacious. The cockpit area is really spacious. There's lots of storage space underneath all of the seats on the sides of the boat. Lots of storage space in the rear of the boat. There's just overall a really great layout. Now this layout comes from the FI23. In fact, it's basically the exact same layout, just a foot shorter, which is taken a little bit out of the bow and a little bit out of the cockpit area here. But most people that will climb in this boat will feel like it's a true 23 or even 24 foot boat when comparing it to other different boats of similar size 
in other areas of the market. Another great thing about this boat is the quality of the materials that are in it. This boat features the same 17 mil top coat vinyl that's available in all Centurion models, making it not only the highest grade vinyl that's ever been offered by Centurion, but the highest grade vinyl that's available on any tow boat in the world. You can compare this to boats that are triple the price tag and it's going to have a higher quality interior than those other boats do. When we're talking about the interior quality, we're not just talking about the finish work or the or the trim level or how cool of stitching patterns the boat has. We're talking about the actual quality of the materials that goes into it. When we're talking about the vinyl here, it is the thickest, most robust, most luxurious vinyl that's available on any boat in the tow boat industry. This is the same vinyl that is put in the Centurion RI-265, and it's the same vinyl that is the Centurion has become known for, for being the most resilient, highest quality vinyl out there. It's also finished off with Gore-Tex threading, meaning that this white threading that you see right here is not going to turn yellow or fade because it's UV proof. It's also abrasion resistant, it's waterproof, and it's just going to hold up and make it so it's not going to start to split or separate over time. You can be rest assured when you climb into this boat that the value of the interior far exceeds the, not only the price tag of this boat, but honestly, the price tag of boats that are double what this boat sells for. Now going beyond the quality of the materials on the inside of the FE22, let's take a look at a lot of the different features that are available in this boat. First off, from right here where I'm sitting, you can see that there's a lot of different access to storage compartments throughout the interior. All of the seats are hinged and on actuators, so you can flip them up and easily access all of your storage. There's there's cubbies right here on the left and right side of the boats that have space for lots of drinks with cup holders. There's also premium 8 inch wet sound speakers that sit here on the interior throughout the boat. This boat is equipped with six speakers here in the interior, not counting the tower speakers or the subwoofer, meaning that you get a true surround sound experience whether you're sitting here at the back of the boat or all the way up in the bow. There's also a lot of other different amenities that are available in this boat, things such as the sliding bench seat that you see here that can slide and move. It's also got gator step, step pad right here so that you can step in and out of the boat from any direction and not have to worry about stepping on your vinyl. There's also lots of other great features here on the inside, such as your pop-ups tow pylon that can be a great spot for towing water skiing or pulling tubes. You also even have these great ram boxes that sit here on the sides. They're a great location for putting shoes, flip-flops, dock lines, all kinds of other little miscellaneous items that you want to be able to access at, that you want to know exactly where they're at and not have to make people stand up and move to get to. Lastly, you have a lot of storage that sits right here under these transom lockers. These transom lockers, when you flip them open, have huge storage compartments in here. Now there's plug and play ballast bags that sit here in these rear lockers, but even when those bags are full, you have the ability to put 14 life jackets inside of this compartment between the two of them on the sides and get a ton of additional space. These are specifically configured and designed to make it so that they're easy to access when you're at the rear of the boat. So rather than having to put things like life jackets, wetsuits, ropes, things of that nature, here underneath the side seats where people have to stand up and move to access them, that storage is located here in the rear of the boat. So I can be standing on the swim platform, reach over, flip up this cushion, grab my life jacket, put it on and shut it, rather than having to root around and find it on the inside of the boat sitting under where people are seated. It's also a great thing because you can throw your wet life jackets here on top of the storage tray that's above the engine compartment and it will warm up your vest a little bit while you're not using it. Now I'm back here at the transom of the boat to show you another couple of the cool features back here. First off, you have this transom locker that sits back here in the back. This is a great place for additional life jackets, ropes, you can even store water skis and kids surfboards fit great back here as well. This is another great feature about this boat is you have the ability to opt to put an additional plug and play bag here in the back transom locker. Now, why would you necessarily want to take up some of your storage space with ballast? The answer is if you typically go out with a smaller crew, let's say four or five people, you got more than adequate storage space throughout the entire boat. And so you have the ability to fill up some of that space with additional ballast. This is not necessarily required and it's an optional feature, but if you wanted to get an ideal surf wave with only three people in the boat, the FE22 gives you the ability to have that incredible pro-level wake surf wave without having to add any additional steel weight or lead bags or anything else like that that are typically required in some other boats. Now here at the transom bag, you can see as I step up, I've got lots of area to be able to move into the inside of the boat that's all covered in gator step. I can move to the inside here, or I can even step across here to the outside perimeter. One great thing about this boat is you have gator step lining the entire exterior perimeter of the boat. 
boat. Now this isn't just some cheap Chinese flooring or something like that. This is ultra premium quality gator step that's multiple layers. This is going to give you a top notch experience that's super comfortable, super plush, it looks amazing, and it aligns almost every area throughout the boat. On the sides, on the floor, all around the seat bases on the floor, and it's gonna protect your gel coat as well as just be a really comfortable, great looking experience. This is something that isn't offered on even some of the ultra premium boats, or is it a significant upgrade that actually comes standard from Centurion on the FE22. The FE22 is topped off with the Battle Advanced Tower from Centurion. Now this tower is a really great tower that has a lot of really cool features that just add to the overall look and design of the boat as well as a lot of great functionality. So as you can see, it is a tubular style tower here on the outside with a solid base plate down here that just gives it a really nice look, but it's also incredibly rigid. So I can grab and move the tower and it doesn't shake, it doesn't rattle. There's really almost no flex or movement or anything you can hear at all when you're driving down the lake, even when you're driving through really rough water conditions. It's also got these really cool tower gel coat panels. Now, there's other boat manufacturers that started doing color match paneling on the tower like this. However, they're using like a sticker adhesive or something along those lines that will fade or change color, things like that over time. This right here is actually gel coated fiberglass panels, exact same as the gel coat on the outside of the boat, meaning that the color match is perfect. So you can do, in this case, Canadian blue metal flake that you see here in this tower to match the Canadian blue metal flake on the exterior of the boat. You also have the ability to match the inside and the outside with multiple different colors. So if you have, let's say, a, a gray and blue boat, you can have gray and blue accents on the tower that goes along with whatever color tower you pick which is either black or white. Going beyond that, you also have some really great audio options. To complement the interior wet sound speakers, you also have Rev 10 tower speakers up here in the tower. This boat itself is equipped with four speakers in the tower. We typically equip most of them with two different tower speakers. And if you look at some of the boats that we have maybe in inventory on Boardco, you'll notice we'll typically stock them with two tower speakers, but we can always add a second pair. These not only sound incredible, they've got horn drivers that drive the sound out and away from the boat, meaning that riders that are riding back there surfing, wakeboarding, doing anything like that are going to be able to hear the sound crystal clear. These custom cans are designed to throw that sound even further and increase the audio experience for riders that are back behind the boat. They're also finished off with LED light rings, both on the tower as well as the interior speakers that just add to the overall really pretty accent lighting. So if you're going around in low light conditions, it just looks really nice. This tower is topped off by a bimini top that you can either do the standard bimini um, from Centurion that you see here, or the way that we equip the vast majority of our boats with the so long bimini that is going to be even bigger, even more solid, be faster to deploy and take down, and have has heat resistant surf pockets, meaning you can put your really fragile boards up in those surf pockets and make it so that they're much less likely to warp or get damaged from the sun or from heat or anything else of that nature. Last thing to hit on when it comes to the tower are the board racks. There's a couple different rack options available on this tower. You can go with just the standard bungee racks, uh, but about 90% of our Centurion boats are going to be equipped with this hook style rack. Now, the really cool thing about these racks is that they will grab and hold your board simply by pulling a, the arm out. You can twist it around, slide your board in, and you can pull it out and it will lock and encapsulate your board just like this. The really cool thing about this design is it's going to hold even your really fragile surf style boards without having to worry about them damaging the rail line or putting indents in the board. These are a lot more functional than both clamping style racks or bungee style racks, and they're just going to grip your board much better. You're, they're less likely to cause any challenge or damage, as well as you're never going to have your board fly out of the racks when you're going down the lake, especially in rough water. Water. That's one great thing. Like I mentioned earlier, the Optivi hull is going to drive really well through rough water, but it's not just the hull. It's every other aspect of the boat is designed to handle rougher water conditions, whether that be the strength and rigidity of the tower, the board racks, even the surf sleeves up in the bimini. They're designed so that you can drive and use the boat in rougher conditions. And you don't have to worry about things like your boards flying out and getting run over by a boat that's back behind you or losing them down at the lake. So just a few other different things that really enhance the overall function of this tower 
as well as the incredible cosmetic looks that it has that complement the boat. All right, now we're right here in my favorite seat in the boat. In fact, it's where I spend almost all of my time when I'm out in a boat and not surfing back behind it. So I'm right here in the driver's helm and this has got a new redesigned helm for the FE22. This is one of the areas that they've been able to go through and modify and change to bring a little bit more value into the boat and make it so that you're going to have a, spend a little bit less on some of the different frills that may or may not be important to, to you. So in comparison to the FI series boats, which had dual screens that sat here like this, instead there's a single dash screen that's over here to the right side that's got a lot of great functionality. If you're used to the legacy FI series from back previously to the redesign, it's a, fairly similar to that as far as the functionality of how the screen is going to operate. Now there's some great features here for the driver when you're sitting here in the FE. First thing that I want to talk about and arguably probably my favorite feature with the helm is the chair that I am sitting in. So this is the Cobra Racing Driver seat. It's the same seat that is in the Centurion RI series, the FI series, and is available in the FE22 as well. The great thing about this seat is exactly what you are seeing right here, the way I am currently sitting in it. Now, just about, there's a lot of driver seats that are out there that feel fairly comfortable when you're sitting here, if you have the bolster flipped down and you're sitting facing forward, okay? The Cobra racing seat is comfortable in this position, just like a lot of other driver seats. However, the difference is, first off, it's also extremely comfortable when you flip up the bolster. The bolster's a little bit larger than most others. It's also super plush and comfortable, and it's got some additional padding so that when you sit down, it doesn't feel like you're either A, sitting on a rock or B, bottoming out the design. So this is comfortable right here. The thing that is unique about the Cobra driver seat is that when you swing over here to the side, there's this notch built in for your leg. So I can be hanging out, talking to the other crew that is here in the boat with me, and I can turn and look and face forward to drive, or I can turn back and look at the surfer, talk to the other people, just have a really nice way of interacting. Probably my favorite part about it, though is that you can see that the seat is curved in its design. It's got these uh, like wing flanges that sit on either side, meaning I can lean back against it in this position. It actually feels like a comfortable seat that's designed for sitting this direction. The nice thing when it comes to that is that I can sit in this position basically all day. In fact, this is my default position when I'm sitting in the driver's seat. I will oftentimes turn and face forward, but to sit here to the side is really nice. You also have the ability to pop and swivel it around. You can slide the seat further forward and further back. And so if I wanna slide further, spin and turn around and hang out and, spin and sit with my crew, I can do that as well. Looking here when it comes to the driver's, to the helm interface and the dash screen, you've got the FI inspired steering wheel right here. It's got kind of a squared shape that's really nice. I actually like the way that this thing grips. It also looks really cool. There's even been some guys that just really love the look of this and have been replacing their steering wheel on their RI series boats with this one just because of the way it looks. Over here on the right side, I obviously have my dash interface that will control my ballast, all of the, my different plate settings, uh, the speed, all of the functionality that I need in the boat. If you want to get more details, you can check out the uh, dash screen walkthroughs that we've done that have a lot of the functionality and show all of the different features that this boat has. Over here on the left side, you have your stereo head unit, which is a wet sounds multi-zone control stereo system. This allows you to control different zones so that you can have a little bit more volume projected out in the bow and maybe a little bit less with uh, the cockpit or you can drive up the volume from the tower speakers and turn down the interior speakers. This makes it so you can do things like drive more sound out to the riders without blowing out the people that are inside the boat. It's just a really nice way of controlling it. It's also got this nice volume knob on it so that you can turn the volume up or down really quickly if you'd like to do that. You also have this nice wireless charging cell phone holder. So you can take your cell phone, just pop it right in here. It expands to fit virtually any phone that's out there and will charge your phone while it's hanging out here. Also gives you a great way to be able to control the tracks as well as your track control that sits right here in the head unit. You've also got a little cubby right here that you can hold things like your keys, your wallet, other things of that nature, just for a little quick access if you need to get to it. The throttle is really nice and comfortable. You got a nice armrest right here for your arm when you're sitting here and driving the throttle. It's also a really smooth shifting throttle. You just pull up on it and slide forward simultaneously and it will move it into gear or back into reverse. Now, there's a few other different features here on the FE that are really neat and kind of a unique thing, at least compared to other different tow boats. First off, you have a full wraparound windshield. Now, this windshield is a little bit more vertical oriented compared to the FI series. It's also one of the other ways that we can bring down a little bit of the cost, but it still looks really nice 
nice, it's really clean and edgy, and just really complements the lines of the boat. There's also some other great features, like a built-in cooler that sits down here in the base that is really easy to access for the driver. It's built down into the boat. It can hold a ton of ice and drinks and snacks and all kinds of things of that nature. And there's a quick pull plug at the bottom, so you can pull it out and drain that cooler out. It's plenty big and it's really easy to access, whether you're a passenger or for the driver. Lastly, you have this quick access trash can that sits over here on the port side of the boat. So you can open this up, throw your trash in that main receptacle, and you can easily access it just by flipping up the observer locker like this, and you can get access to your trash can, as well as a whole bunch of other storage that is available in this boat. So from the helm design, you really have access to a whole lot of things. Trash can, cooler, stereo controls, all of your controls from your dash, the ability to orient and move any direction that you want. It's really a top-notch captaining experience in the FE22. All right, we're gonna finish off our experience here in the FE22 by being here in the bow. Now, the bow is a great place to hang out in the FE22. As I mentioned, it's a little bit smaller than some of the other boats on the Centurion line, but you'd never know it sitting here in this bow. As you can see, I'm sitting here, I got my leg, legs outstretched completely. I've got a little bit of space at the end of my feet. I also can turn around and face backwards. And there's a nice cushioned area to lean against that's really comfortable to sit and face back if I want to check out the actions going behind the boat. This bow is wide enough that you can fit three people in the bow facing backwards and have plenty of room and space to check out what's going on. It also can be a great place for turning around and facing forward as well. There's a bow fill cushion that is available in the FE22 that's really nice and kind of turns this into a nice place pen bow area. There's also cup holders up here in the bow. There's four of them here to be able to accommodate drinks for all of the passengers in the bow. Grab handles that you can grab onto. It's also lined with this really plush vinyl all throughout. So you're not leaning against areas that are just straight fiberglass or like some sort of a, a foam material or something like that in a lot of other boats. Just to, instead it's finished off in this really nice upholstery that's just really comfortable to lean against no matter what direction you're facing. There's also accent lighting that is here in the bow as well as a couple of these wet sound aid inch speakers that are going to provide an incredible audio experience for people sitting in the bow. The last thing that is also really, really nice in this boat is, as you can see, the top of the boat is lined in this gator step around the perimeter. The great thing about this gator step around the outside that started at the very back and continues all the way up through across the entire bow of the boat is it makes it so you can load and unload the boat from any position. So you can be pulled up to a dock like we are here and have people climb in on the bow, on the side of the bow, on the side of the boat, at the back of the boat, pretty much any direction and you're A, not having to step on vinyl, but it's also giving you a really firm place to put your foot that it's not gonna slip and worry about falling in or doing something of that nature. The last really cool thing about this gator step is it's going to protect your gel coat and make it so you don't have to worry about any kind of heat or any other issue like that. Gator step doesn't get hot. So even if you opt for black gator step, it's not gonna get warm at all and it's gonna, it's gonna wear really well. What that means is that you can have a black top deck here and you can have it lined in this gator step and you don't have to worry about that black gel coat burning you when it's sitting out in the sun. It's just a really nice way to both keep it looking nice as well as make it really functional as well. That is just one extra element that exists in the FE22 that's a step above other boats out there. All right, guys, thanks for spending some time with us here in the FE22. This boat is absolutely incredible. I absolutely love it and it performs amazing. That's probably the most important part. It's a t that is a lot bigger than most people expect and it delivers just incredible performance. You can check out the surf wave that's on it um, that we shot some video of. It is just an absolutely beautiful surf wave with tons of power, tons of push, lots of length, and most importantly, a very large amount of customization that you can do to make it an absolutely perfect wave for any rider back behind the boat. The last thing I wanted to hit on on this FE22 is the incredible price tag that this boat comes in at. You can get this boat dialed and nicely equipped for far below what you could expect to pay with other boats. If you want to check out and see the exact price tag on this boat, head over to boardco.com and you can go through and see the available FE22s that we have in stock and go and check out our Centurion Custom Boat Builder. This Custom Boat Builder will let you see the actual price that you can expect to pay on an FE22 equipped the way you want it. So you can go through and select the colors, the options, the features, all of the different things, see all of the information about those different options 
and so you can have some help and assistance in picking which one is gonna be just right for you and seeing the actual price that you can expect to pay for this boat. The difference between that and other boat builders is you're not gonna see some MSRP number that is an inflated number that's just kind of made up that you're gonna have some imaginary discount off of in order to make you feel like you're getting a good deal. Instead, you're going to see the actual price that you can expect to pay, which is the same price that you will get if you contact our dealership on the phone or walk into our dealership in person. Go through and check that out and it will hopefully answer a lot of the questions you may have and give you some of the more detailed information that you will want to get on the FE22. Thanks a lot for spending some time here with us. If you have any questions, let us know. We'd be more than happy to help. We really appreciate the time that you're spending with us and we'll see you later.